This is Cheryl Kuchak with Just My Imagination Designs and Sublimation for Beginners and Beyond. So today I wanted to show you how I do a latte mug. Um, this template was actually downloaded from Coastal Business Supplies. It's a free template and I'm actually going to just delete this layer. We don't need that. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to add a layer. And I'm going to go over to File, Place Linked. I'm going to get grab my design that I want to use. And as you can see, that this is much smaller than my template. So I'm going to commit to the change here by pressing Return. And if you'll notice that there is a little lock here, and what that is is a smart object and it's very important that you use a smart object because if you don't and you go to size it up you're going to have a pixelated picture so I'm going to press command T on my Mac and I'm going to size it up and okay, this might be a little big Okay, and I pressed enter. Um, okay, so now the fun begins. We're going to go over to the edit and then transform, and then we're going to warp. And it, you can actually take these handles and bring them to the corners. Okay, now you can actually move these if you want to. I actually like to take it by the handle and move them out. And we can do the same thing up here. And actually that looks pretty good. I want to bring this down just a little bit. I want to check and see if my curve is right down here. And okay, that looks pretty good. I want to show you, you could actually really move this and warp it any way you want. That's why it's called a warp tool. Okay, so I like it. I'm going to commit to that. I'm going to press. And again, you can commit to it up here. Or you can press enter. So then the next thing that I would do is I would um, go up to image, rotate it, prepare it for printing. And typically what I do is I print it off on a regular printer usually black and white. I don't need it to be in color. And I want to make sure that it fits my mug the way that I would like it to fit. Um, and if it doesn't, I can come back in here and adjust it. And that's it. I take it to my sawgrass and I print and press. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, until our next video, thanks for watching.